All right. Hi, Leo. It's Elle here to do a quick little love spread for you guys. I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll look at the cards at the bottom of the deck. I hope that everyone is having a really good start to spring here in the States. Um, and hope that spring comes for you if you're somewhere else, all right? You know what I want to do? Can y'all start commenting in the in the comment section where you're from and where you're viewing from? Because I want to do like a meet and greet. I'm here in the States or whatever, but I'll be traveling for the spring and summer uh, season. So I'll be in different states and I'll also be out of the country a little bit. Um, just two places, you know. Um, anyhow, um, yeah, so if you could start commenting where you guys are, so maybe I can meet some of my followers and do some readings in person, all right? All right, so here we go. Here we go. Three cards. Okay, that one wanted to come out. All right, King of Swords in reverse. Ooh, y'all know how I feel about that King of Swords in reverse. I'm a King of Swords, okay? I'm an Aquarius. Anyhow, when they're in reverse, if you think that the King of Swords upright is sharp, clear, on there, just on it, whatever it may be, always 10 steps ahead of you, imagine the King of Swords in reverse. Now, all of that good energy of being sharp and intellectual and and clear and, and communication being clear imagine them in the in the reverse and they are here in the reverse for you they giving you nothing but lies deceit um and they're good at it and they're good at it this could be you leo or this could be the the person you come to the reading for gemini libra aquarius here this is typically libra and aquarius could be gemini for you but typically libra and aquarius uh, Gemini comes up as Queen of Swords a lot. Um, this is, watch out for that person right there. That's a cold person. Like, whoa, this, um, they're calculating, like, and not in a good way. Not for the good. They're, they're all about self. They're not giving truth. And they could be holding on to money, uh, their feelings, of course, devising plans of action. Um, just or her just observing you and giving you what you want to hear. Um, watch out, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't have to be air either. Could be somebody with air in their chart. Or could be just somebody taking all that energy of the King of Swords, Eight of Cups. But it looks like someone is checking out emotionally. It might be this King of Swords in reverse. This could be you, uh, Leo. But I, this is not your energy. I don't see any fire just yet. Let's see, at the bottom of the deck, four of swords. Yeah, someone's taking a break, needing to take a break. Either you, uh, Leo, or this air sign needs to take a break. They're, they're engaging in prayer, meditation, maybe devising a plan here also. This is flipped over for you guys, six of pentacles. Um, maybe this relationship just didn't reciprocate. You know, somebody's doing more than the other. So that's why somebody's holding on to finances. Somebody was giving more than the other. Someone's putting out a lot of money. Could be you, Leo, or maybe an air sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's checking out emotionally. Walking away from a situation that looked good from the outside. But you know, you know, you know, you know. Four swords, six of swords. Yes, yeah, somebody's moving away. Um, just trying to get away from the drama. Looks like if you're dealing with an air sign, they're really mentally, mentally checking the hell out. Like, watch out. Five of Cups. Some of you could be um, thinking of past betrayal, hesitated before making decisions. Could be dealing with a water sign who's doing those things. To arise, you know you need to make an active decision, and you are. Maybe to chart a new path because, um, this one that you're on is not working out in your favor. This decision completely alters your entire life. Could be with work, relationship, five of rods. There might be some indecision within yourself. Knight of Cups here. And there could also be competition uh, arguments with other people also. Somebody's wanting to partner with you, offer their cup of emotion. Wanting to, you know, say, hey, look, I want to invest emotionally. I like you. Nine of Rods, but you may be saying, I don't know. I've been through a lot with the Nine of Rods. And then the Knight of Rods, you may say, okay, well, come on, let's go ahead and do it. Even though there's emotional conflict here, and someone could be just creating outright illusions for you with the Seven of 
Cups, but they may have something really solid to offer you. The Ace of Pentacles. It's going to be your work or love. And the world is here saying that a chapter has ended. Let it end. A new chapter is beginning for you. Knight of Pentacles. Nice. Someone's, uh, the new start, the foundational new start is being given to you by the heavens. And now here's the offer. Maybe from the Capricorn Virgo Taurus, someone's wanting to offer to you maybe the nine of pentacles type of person a man or woman in waiting has done a lot for themselves is waiting for the ten of pentacles the opportunity to partner you're engaging in healing restoration gaining clarity about situations or you could be dealing with an aquarius you want to partner with them or maybe you're in a third party situation with them you want to start something new solid with them it's still very new with the page of pentacles here you want that two of cups relationship, that successful, loving relationship. But you might have to leave something behind to get that. The three of rods, queen of pentacles. Um, might have to leave a queen of pentacles behind Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Or you might just need to make a solid decision around your money, your finances, or your home. This is a really good businesswoman, businessman, makes solid decisions. You're going to have to stay on your ground. Uh, maybe with a Capricorn. Um, have the strength. To, to tame this beast don't go back into that maybe third party situation maybe with a your intuition needs to be heightened here with the queen of cups i'm hearing if not you need to maintain yourself and tame yourself leo in dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio this is typically cancer because their intuition is on point and they're working with spirit with temperance here they have gained emotional balance and everything and all that you do will be revealed. Definitely dealing with the cancer. Uh, cancer, uh, you might be moving forward effortlessly in victory. Or once again, back to taming, yin and the yang around a, a home life situation. So you can have victory and a real foundation. All right, it looks really good if you're dealing with the cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, cancer in particular, air sign, I don't know. Request a personal reading so I can pull your own energy. Um, so we can get some clarity and we can know how to move forward in the near future. All right. So, Leo, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram, InstaGo. There's so much uh, below in the description box. Uh, choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. Any donation is much appreciated. Again, Leo. Uh, when in doubt pray i'm praying for you pray for me as well all right so i'll see you in the mid april readings take care guys